are here at the Emerson Exchange yep. Micromotion event. I am Pam Moore. And sorry, we had a few technical difficulties. Sorry, we're starting uh, getting a little bit late. But I am Pam Moore. I am the founder of Marketing Nuts, which is a social media, social business agency. And I am here today with Jason Leapley from Pam. Emerson Micromotion. Yep. And we are going to be talking about some big announcement has had this week as well as all sorts of things a little bit of business a little bit of life okay so we're here live at the the event and mm -hmm. we're actually here in a big hallway and so if it gets a little loud we apologize but we really wanted you to be able to sense and feel this energy yeah today. there's a lot of energy going around yeah. for sure so tell me about emerson micromotion exchange tell okay. me a little bit about what's happening here at this event yeah so the uh emerson global users exchange mm -hmm. is a <laughs> gathering that happens where all sorts of uh different People from Emerson come mm -hmm. together, all our customers, all the people that use our equipment, and we all get together to talk about ideas and new practices in the industry, new products that are coming out, mm -hmm. and really it's just a big exchange of information. And and like you mentioned, a lot of energy going on. Yes. Uh, I saw, I believe, over 3,200 people here. So wow. it, it's incredible. That's really um, good. And the amount of collaboration that's going yeah. on. So it's exciting I to could, be part of. I could feel it. I mean, we walked and we came yesterday, arrived around noon, and from the moment, honestly, we walked in, and there was even a fire yesterday we're here at the no, Gaylord no. Hotel which is beautiful but I don't know what happened the alarm went off and even when we were outside and it was pouring beating down sun on us there was just a sense of uh, friendliness and energy yep. and and people wanting to collaborate I and mean, I had some great conversations with people I have never met you know right out on the grass uh, during the fire drill but I think that's really neat when you look at an organization that has been around for as long as Emerson how many years has it for Emerson Emerson is actually Emerson uh, electric has been been around for over a hundred years. Yeah. Uh, Micromotion has been around for 35 years. Wow. So, you know, we get a lot of those type of companies yeah. and biz businesses coming together. It's a lot of experience and yeah. a lot of knowledgeable people. Knowledgeable Absolutely. People sure. And to feel the level of collaboration, not arrogance, right? I think right. that's a great way to explain. There's a level of uh, collaboration and ingenuity and innovation, right? That's happening. That's, yep. I think, really, really cool to see companies not re just reinvent themselves, but just continue to, to move forward. And that includes embracing new media, right? And emerging yep. technologies, which is why we're here doing the Google Hangout today. Very first right? one. Yeah. yeah. And so we'll talk a little bit about that. But yesterday, Micromotion did your first tweet chat. Yep, first Rocked tweet it. chat as well. Yes, it <laughs> yeah. was a lot of fun. Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Yep. And so uh, we will talk a little bit about that. But you can follow the hashtag for the tweet chat yesterday as well as today for the Google Hangout. And yep. um, moving forward with the hashtag is pound E M R E X. Yep. And then pound micromotion we're using, and that's probably the best way to follow us. That's right? the best way, I would say. But go ahead and tell us a little bit about yourself and how you okay. wound up at, at Emerson and what you're doing right now at Emerson, that type of thing. Excellent. Yeah. Um, so, as you mentioned, mm -hmm. name's Jason Leapley. Mm -hmm. I'm a product line business manager mm -hmm. at Micromotion. So, I'm responsible for. Um, our transmitters, software, and electronics. So okay. within that portfolio, I look at all our transmitters and make sure that the, the portfolio is up to date and, mm -hmm. and staying constant, um, which includes some exciting stuff like new product development, okay. which is really one of the favorite parts of my mm -hmm. job. Um, I've been with uh, Micromotion for almost 10 years now, about mm -hmm. nine and a half. So coming up on a big milestone there. Yeah, it's absolutely. It's been just a fantastic place to work. Mm -hmm. Was there something else? Oh, move together. Oh, oh. We're being told to move I know, together. Right? We get directors. See, we can we can sit here right. like this. All right. So let's so let's then talk about what was the news. So let's talk. Let's transition to talking a little bit about the news announcement that we had yesterday. Okay. So, so the big announcement for Micromotion mm -hmm. was we released our model fifty seven hundred mm -hmm. Micromotion transmitter, mm -hmm. uh, which is a big deal, especially yeah. for me personally. Yeah. Uh, I've been working on it for about three and a half years now. Wow. So yeah, that I, was a huge deal. It right? was huge. It was really nice because you know you put all that effort into it and all that yeah. work, and then you finally get to come out right. and, and talk about it to the world, and right. people get so excited, and the feedback mm -hmm. has been incredible. So um, it's been a fantastic experience. Awesome. Awesome. Yep. So, and let's talk about some of the applications and where people are using this device. Okay. And how, you know, what type of customers are, are looking at it. And I know we have an audience that maybe doesn't even know what it is. Right. So maybe right. let's even Definitely. start at that 101 level. Yep. What is it? Who is it for? And then we'll talk about what benefits does it offer those customers. Yep, absolutely. So Micromotion makes a Coriolis flow and density meters. Right. So we measure flow and density for people that are using processes and mm -hmm the range of applications is is incredible so mm -hmm. um you know you can take an example of somebody actually uses our meters to measure peanut butter somebody mm -hmm. making peanut mm -hmm. butter 
all the way to the other end of the spectrum, which is, you know, huge lines mm -hmm. of hydrocarbons and things like that. So mm -hmm. um, one of the great things about that is I get to talk with people from all sorts of industries and all sorts of applications mm -hmm. and really um, see a broad range of, of things and how our instruments are used. Mm -hmm. So with that, the, the transmitter is the part of the meter mm -hmm. uh, that actually gets the, the information out. It's mm -hmm. how you interact with it, right? If you think about uh, if a flow meter is a car, um, the transmitter is the cockpit, right? right. The, the, the steering wheel, the radio, just all that, that feedback and how you Absolutely, interact yeah. with the device. Yep. So. And so that leads us to into some of the benefits, right? Because some of us just only want to see that front. <laughs> I get in right, my car and I want right. to just—I want it to work. Okay, yep, yep, so absolutely. I know that's one of the the key benefits is this the new user interface, right? Yep, yep. The new user interface is huge. Um, uh, it's a nice screen on it. You get a lot mm -hmm. of information through it. Um, again, feedback on that has been incredible. It offers us to do things like offer uh, multiple languages on mm -hmm. it and easy, intuitive flow through menus to mm -hmm. to really get things done, um, which is one of the key. Um, goals that we started out with right. to develop the transmitter was, you know, with these days people want to be able to interact with something simply. They don't want to feel frustrated right. or, or have to go look up things in a manual. Right. So we spent a tremendous amount of time employing uh, actually techniques uh, called HCD okay. in, in development of the transmitter mm -hmm. uh, to, to help bring those realizations to customers and help them get in and get the job done and get out. Okay, I love yeah. it. So when you uh, were designing the product, because it took three years, so can we talk a little bit about that? Okay. Or, or, or why? Yeah, I mean, yeah, so yeah. was there a lot of customer so, focus groups yeah, that yeah. were happening to yeah, really definitely. understand what the customers were wanting? Yep. And to give credit where credit's due, um, it actually took uh, longer than three years. Mm -hmm. Uh, it was actually started out a uh, vision of uh, David Kaplanek, who's uh, the director of product marketing and okay. product promotion. Uh, he was my on boss. our tweet chat yesterday, yep, by the and he way. Was on you can the find tweet him chat. on Twitter. Yep, exactly. So he really set the vision and the foundation okay. for it. And then uh, I came in and started working with him and, and started okay. taking over to, to take it through the last. Love it. You know, yep, yeah, exactly. So, yeah, one of the things um, with the development was, as I mentioned, um, using things like HCD practices. Mm -hmm. So this is the way you want to go out and you want to, you want to talk to people and, and understand uh, when somebody uses something, when somebody mm -hmm. uses a product, really getting deep into how they think about it, mm -hmm. um, you know, even how they feel about it Absolutely. and things like that. Because what you're really looking for is to understand, um, you know, the easy thing is the, the needs or the spoken right. needs, right? right? So right. somebody can say, I want it to do this and I want right. it to do that. Uh, but the really rewarding thing is when you determine what's um, what you call an unspoken need. Absolutely. So something people don't even right. know they need it and right. you're able to bring that to them through that study. And, and that's fantastic. You know, that reminds that's really me rewarding. of Steve Jobs. You know, one of the, the, his favorite quotes he ever said is, if you wait until the customer tells you what they want, it's too late. Right. So it's it's truly about and that's something we really believe in everything we do in yep. business and with our clients yep. is getting in the head of that customer and what do they yep. want Absolutely. and how can you be ahead of where they haven't even realized that's what they need, yep. but they that they're frustrated with what's happening and what they have and always being at least that 18 months to two years out yep, right. right of where they are today. Yep. And that's huge. And you know, the other thing is definitely then you got to test it too. Absolutely. I mean, and like you were saying, the, mm -hmm. the development took quite a while because we went through many, many iterations mm -hmm. because when you try something, you want to make sure to go out and test it with mm -hmm. people. You, mm -hmm. you want to see if it's usable, mm -hmm. do some usability testing. Mm -hmm. And sometimes that's frustrating yeah. because you'll put, your, your design into something and how you think it'll work and you think it's great and you'll go out and test it with people and realize you didn't quite hit the mark right you right. know and th that hurts a little yeah, and then initially you go oh yeah um but really employing that practice and keep going and keep and iterating the long and time, keep that's testing until you get just it right pushing, just pushing yep. it to market and and being able to say okay we need to pivot Right, and yep. we need to get this thing right. So that's why this is a big, a really big yep. announcement, and yeah, exactly. I know that a lot of your customers are really excited about it too. Yep. So definitely. let's talk about some more of the benefits then. I know. Can we talk about some of the data that we can get out of this? Okay, some of the data. Yeah. Um, well, let's talk about uh, where that data comes from yeah. first. Okay. Right? Okay. So one of the other things we really had a, a goal of was to be able to reduce uncertainty with mm -hmm. our customers. You know, and that's about just getting. Um, real confidence in your mm -hmm, measurement. Mm -hmm. So when you're making a measurement with the Coriolis meter, um, like any sort of precision instrumentation, mm -hmm. uh, it's an investment. Mm -hmm. And you wanna make sure that what you're getting out of it is absolutely um, the most certain thing you can. Mm -hmm. You've got total confidence in what you're getting. Mm -hmm. And that's everything from the meter itself. So right. making sure um, when you install it, if it's in a, a an area that is in a, a super hot environment right. or challenging process conditions, you know, something dynamically changing. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we don't want something that just works out of the box when it sits on a table. Right. Um, we want something that will work in, in all sorts of right. environments. 
So coupled with that is also needing to have the, the, the confidence of that signal coming out. And that's mm -hmm. where the transmitter comes mm -hmm. into play. So what we wanted to do is make sure people were um, able to reduce the uncertainty in mm -hmm. their practices mm -hmm. and know that that measurement that they're getting is the absolute right. best thing possible. And that comes through with uh, various features such as um, our smart meter verification okay. tool, which is a tool that checks the health of the entire mm -hmm. meter um, in process, in mm -hmm. line. You don't need to shut mm -hmm. the process down uh, in less than two that's minutes. Cool. Yep. Big benefit. Uh, and uh, zero verification is something new uh, that we've added with the 5700. So that also enables people to have confidence in a, a zero. So. Okay. And of course, people might not know what zero is. Yeah, so explain you know. that to us. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. So when you have a flow meter, um, what you want to do is you want to make sure, and it, it seems obvious, right? When when there's no flow going, it right. reads zero. Right. Right. So, okay. um, and a lot it's of times, like when I step on the scale, I, I tap it and I, <laughs> I make sure that it's at a zero. Right, right, right. You don't want to start with any offset. That's yeah. actually a yeah. perfect analogy. Um, so it's become common practice for customers to you know, periodically block in a meter and you know tell the meter reset your zero. Right. The problem is a lot of times uh, the conditions might not be really right for that mm -hmm. and they can introduce uncertainty through that practice. Mm -hmm. So we did a lot of development and we came up with this tool which is the zero verification mm -hmm. which actually you know runs a diagnostic within the transmitter, okay. uh, analyzes a lot of the conditions okay. and gives a recommendation to customers okay. about whether yep you can go ahead and re-zero the mirror or actually okay. no it, it's not the right time it's actually wouldn't and be And why might it prudent. do that? Why might it tell you not to do? Um so so things like when you when you block in a meter and you're you're wanting to make sure there's no mm -hmm. flow. Um, sometimes there's flow. Right. It happens. So you may um, think you, there isn't, so it's not a good time to zero it out. Right, you're actually exactly. Move it through yep. there. Uh, okay. Even things like if, if temperature's changing rapidly at a mm -hmm. certain time, something mm -hmm. like that, um, that could be a condition that's okay. maybe not optimal for zero. Got it. Yep. Cool. And I think that confidence is really important, right? I mean, that confidence word in anything in business and technology, yep. because if they don't have confidence, what are they doing? So let's, can we talk about Work. the flip side of this, right? So <laughs> if, if they have a device that's not providing them the confidence, then are they wasting a ton of time in triple and double checking things? Yeah, you know, you know it's other, one of the, the credos, actually. I mentioned Dave. Um, one of the credos he's had that really stuck with me uh, was this simple equation, which is uncertainty equals work. Yeah. So anytime you're uncertain about true. something, that means you have to take time, you have to spend resources and money to try to right. figure it out. So um, that's really. It's really powerful. It, yeah, it's a philosophy that stuck with me. Yeah, sure. I, yep. it makes me think about so many applications for that because that's why you invest, no matter what you're doing in business or life, investing in quality. Yep. Um, it minimizes that uncertainty when you are getting product from a company like Emerson yep. like Promotion, and you know, you know, you can trust that data. You know what it's telling you, and that you can make the decisions you need to make right. based on that data, which is going to minimize those costs. You Absolutely. Know, at the time of of triple checking that, and then <laughs> who knows, yep. and then the the issues that happen if if it was wrong, yep. right? I mean, just if you're, you make a decision based on an assumption and a data point that's not accurate, right? Right. It can be catastrophic for these your, yeah, some yeah, of your definitely. clients, right? I mean, yep. the flip side of that is really negative. Right. Absolutely. You know, and that leads into, you know, when you're talking about the, the data you have and the decisions you make, um, sometimes, you know, things happen. Life yeah, happens, right? Does. And so maybe something happened with the customer's process, um, something went out of spec or mm -hmm. something went down, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of times that will introduce a, a whole cycle of, again, um, more work for customers, right? right? absolutely. Um, so Figuring out what caused, what was the root cause. Right, right, exactly, because a lot of times you can't really go back in time. Right. Um, you need to try to figure out what's going on or worse, wait for something to happen again mm -hmm. and hope at that point you're, you're able to capture um, some data right. to, to figure out what's going on. So one of the other great things about the 5700 transmitter mm -hmm. is it's actually continually logging process data mm -hmm. all the time. Uh, and it's a wide variety of data. Um, Coriolis meters uh, are not just flow meters, they're, they're mm -hmm. multivariable meters. So mm -hmm. you're getting flow, you get density, you get temperature, mm -hmm. um, and a lot of other variables. So mm -hmm. the 5700 is actually recording those uh, real time all the time. So in the case something does happen, um, you're able to go get that data off of the transmitter and look at your process mm -hmm. and really take a real proactive approach to figuring out what happened uh, rather than this reactive approach of, of trying to set up a plan to, to capture it the next time right. or, or try various things. You're, you can implement and learn from those mistakes or whatever happened immediately, yep. right? And proactively manage their going forward without yep. everybody freaking out, right? Right, exactly. Okay, so what other benefits? Let's talk about some of the other benefits. Um, so, yeah, we, yeah, we mentioned about the, the human-centered design. Um, and so one of the other neat things about it is we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about how you get this data off. Mm -hmm. Um, so, you know, historically connecting to a transmitter requires some, some specialized equipment, um, mm -hmm. service tools mm -hmm. too. That's a mm -hmm. huge thing. That was another mm -hmm. big goal. 
um, was to develop a, a platform that people could could access without mm -hmm. need for special tools, which mm -hmm. tend to you know be costly or become misplaced. Right. So one of the fascinating things about this is we switched the way you you are able to get data off mm -hmm. of it, and we implied a or in used a U universal service port, so okay. what we're calling it, um, which actually uses the benefits of USB technology. Okay. So you're able to do things with commonly available equipment. Right. And this is everything like if you need to right. connect a laptop to it, mm -hmm. um, you can use a USB cable to connect directly to it. That's, Very So is that the first time this type of device has had that? Yes, that's, yes, that's absolutely. Yeah, then, it's right? a huge jump forward. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. And then also gives you that ability to use something like a, a USB drive to mm. take things off of the transmitter or move them onto it. So that's the example good. would be all that data file. Yeah. You're able to take it off the transmitter and then go analyze it and do things mm -hmm. worth it um, in a nicer environment, right? Mm -hmm. Some of these environments yeah. are, are not the greatest place yeah. to be. They want to get um, in and get out. Right, get exactly. On, you know, somewhere. sometimes it's a, it's a little bit of a hazardous area mm -hmm. and safety is always a huge concern. Okay. So um, being able to take data and move it somewhere and, and do this work in an area where you don't really need to be in that type of environment mm -hmm. uh, is a huge advantage. So it goes back to some of the key features. I mean, the how you describe the benefits at the beginning of this conversation, confidence, simplicity, yep. right? Trust, yep. safety. Yep. So they're able to go in there with confidence, grab that data, know that's the data that they need. Do yep. it simple with the USB drive now. I'm sure there are many of your customers that are happy about that. Yep. And be able to grab that and then take that data where they can go to a safer environment to make those decisions and Absolutely. give it to whoever probably needs to have that data. To that's right. Yep. So it's, often i mean how often is it the same person that's grabbing yeah, it that, that's another huge point right because um a lot of times it needs to go to, to multiple people yeah. so you know if you you rather than having five different people right. need to go out and interact with the transmitter right. um if you can cut that down and really you know keep the unnecessary exposure things right. like that down um because they can benefit. then plug it into their laptop and shoot it to the, all five of those people that need to, to right. see it and they exactly. have immediate access to it and they don't have to go back out. Right, So there's exactly. cost savings along with oh, that, Oh, absolutely. Right? Yep. Okay, so what other benefits? Oh, man, that's, uh, that's really the, okay. the key pillars. There's a, there's a whole bunch. In fact, okay. um, if anybody's watching here, um, we've got a bunch down on the floor. You can come uh, see it, see a bunch of the additional benefits. Uh, I'll be down there tonight at the trade show. Um, so come take a look at it. But really, you know, those are the, the key ones we really okay. want to talk about was um, that ability to deliver that measurement confidence, mm -hmm. that, that simplified solution of making it easy for cu Absolutely. customers. You know, that's our, our number one goal. And then really, you know, with all that data and things like that, it really drives this uh, ability to to give people an insight to their process. So mm -hmm. open a window into their process, yeah. if you will, um, and deliver that kind of value Absolutely. there and, and make people's lives easier. Well, I think you did a good job of putting that in a nutshell for us oh, today well, thank you. And, and helping it. us understand what the 5700 is yep. and why is why it is such exciting news, you know, yep. because you see a lot of product announcements and it's not really a, an announcement, you know, it's we're putting a lipstick on a pig. And that's <laughs> right? one thing with Emerson I and my promotion I see a lot is when you have an announcement, it's an, annou it's an announcement, there's, there's news and there's something of value for your customers in that you're, yep. not, you're not just trying to increase your rankings online to you know push out some press releases so that's true i think this is a great product for your customers and i think that you know if, if this is applicable to your business and you're interested definitely take a look and follow that hashtag at emrex yep. as well as the micro motion on twitter is just micro motion is one word and uh, they're really embracing all the social technologies and emerging media and so you're going to see more google hangouts like this and podcasts all kinds of things we're working on. And all of that will be back on the blog yep. at micromotionblog.com. And then you can follow all of these Google Hangouts by going to micromotionblog.com slash hangout live. And that's where we will always keep the latest and greatest, what's ever coming or whatever just happened, right, with your Google Hangouts. There you and go. And then um, Jason, your blogger there, right? Uh, that's right. Yep. And um, I'm really excited for everything that you've been doing and, you know, really well, working yeah. with you on this. Yeah, definitely. I mean, thank you, Pam. This is just sort of a whole new thing to me yeah. you know uh, first Google Hangout um, we mentioned first uh, tweet chat yesterday yeah. so it's really cool getting involved with this and, and seeing everything that's a pop yeah. uh, that's possible well, so congratulations it's been a lot of fun you're doing thank a you. great job so thank you everybody Thanks. all right